Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a very short video demonstration for you today that will demonstrate how to add Google reviews to your Squarespace website. And uh, just before we get into that, you'll be able to access a free trial version of the Squarespace website editor in a link from the description of this video just down below. So if you want to give this whole thing a go and try making a Squarespace site, just click that link and that will take you to a, a free version of it just for you. Um, so to make this happen, to show Google reviews on your Squarespace site, you'll need to log in and create an account with someone called Elfsite. So they are a widget provider. So this ability isn't built into Squarespace. We need to use a third party application to make this happen. And um, it's free to do so. They offer this widget for free. And um, you can use your Google account or just sign up with an email to Alf site. And once you do so, you'll arrive at this uh, dashboard here, this applications dashboard. So this will be the first page that you arrive at once you've logged in. And what you'll need to do then is browse the applications and look for the application called Google reviews. I've already got that installed. So you'll have to install that app and you can then use it to create a widget with. Um, so if you just single click that app, and then select create widget that will take you then through the process of how to make you know a, a google review and what you want it formatted as how you want it to look they've got some different templates then available for you to select from uh, depending on how you want it to look for the end user so you can browse down there uh, they've got sliders uh, badges a grid which is quite common so i'll go for that one and then i'll continue with that template and then you can give uh, a search here for your business name. Uh, so I'm just going to search for a random business uh, that I'm a, a big fan of. And if I give them a look, they are a, a smokehouse in <laughs> Wales near where I'm from. And then I'll just use them and give them a little plug for this uh, video tutorial as an example. And then I'm going to select them and make sure that I've got my layout selected properly, which you can hit there. And then uh, the review itself, then you can sort of uh, decide what's shown on it if you if you go there. And then you can change the appearance of the uh, review when it appears to the end user as well, right there. And then some of the settings as well, if you need access to them. Once you're happy with what it looks like and how you like it presented, you can go add to website. And that will then save that widget. Okay, so it's been created there. Um, if I then give that widget a single click, you can go back and uh, make any changes or, you know, uh, if you'd like to further edit it. So if you give that another save. And then all you need to do is uh, select the Add to Website button here. And that will open this little window where you can copy this piece of code. Um, so if you just give it a single click there, it's got the function to copy that code automatically. So you don't have to use the shortcuts to do so. And now if you navigate back to your website in the website editor in Squarespace and just select where you want the Google ads to appear, all you need to do then is hit the add block button and then from here select code. Okay, so we want to embed that piece of code that we've just copied from Alphsite. Hit code and you can see that we've just got this little box appears now that says hello world. So if you click the little pencil symbol in there and then uh, I'm going to hit Command and A, Control A on a PC, get rid of that little bit of code that's in there already, and then just paste our code from um, Alf site into there as well. So we're going to select to display that, and then from there, and as you can see now, we can now see that Google ad display as a piece of HTML code. So if I go back and click Done on my website, I added it in, in a couple of boxes there, and you can see there it is there, and I've got the ability to kind of um, circle around. So if I just go back into that for a second, and then um, I'll get rid of the one on this side, so I can just focus on this one. And if I do resize that here, as you can see, that will actually display more of the reviews on the grid. And if I pull it down a little bit, you can see that it sticks to that format then of a single line. Okay, so if you'd um, want it to display slightly different, those changes would need to occur in Alf site, and then you'd just uh, update that code that we've just pasted in there, um, just the same as you would uh, when you first create one. 
And that concludes our video tutorial. So don't forget that there's a link in the description for this video for a free trial version of Squarespace. Um, so you'll be able to access that just by clicking the link. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more, then you can subscribe to the channel and give us a like. And if you've got any requests for future videos or any questions or anything like that, leave them as comments down below. Thank you very much.